Do you color glass with a light blue marker? Do you wish you could color glass that looks more realistic? I'm Amy Schulke of Vanilla Arts Company. Let's talk about why coloring by tutorial leads you astray when you're coloring with realism. So I want to start out by saying that this is not a coloring tutorial. You're looking at the process that I use to color the image for my latest online coloring class called Cheers. You're watching a challenge level project here. This is not a beginner level class. And it took me over an hour and a half to color this image. So no, I cannot teach you how to color glass with realism in a 10 minute free YouTube video. Nobody can do that. I don't care what they promise. There isn't a tutorial in the world that can substitute for real lessons with a good teacher. Why? Because the hour and a half it took me to color this image, that's a deceiving number. Before I filmed this video, I colored the image four other times. The first two times, my Copic marker color choice was off. It didn't look like champagne, it looked like apple juice. Even after swatching and experimentation, I still got the colors wrong. Then I colored it a third time, experimenting with the bubbles. Then I colored it a fourth time, experimenting with the highlights and the lowlights on the glass. Then I colored it a fifth time for the camera. This fifth attempt, it's a Frankenstein type image where I took elements that I liked from each previous attempt and I combined them into a project that made sense for the workshop online class. So all told, about six hours went into this project before I pressed the record button on my camera. But actually, six hours is a little misleading too. Because I've been practicing realistic glass for years. I tackled glass for the first time around 1990, and I've been working on my techniques ever since. Some of you watching this video weren't even born in 1990. I've spent your whole life kind of fiddling around with glass. Come back a decade from now and I'll still be working with glass. This is why video tutorials and blog step-by-steps, they do not work. Because there isn't one way to color glass. If you Google how to color glass with Copic markers, you're going to get a lot of people suggesting that the way to color glass is to use a blue marker. Okay, maybe some of them use an aqua marker, but they're all strikingly similar videos and blog instructions. You're told to choose a pale blue, and then basically you trace the stamp lines. Now maybe someone gets fancy and they add a water line inside, and some people will add blue to the tops or the bottom of the glass. But here's the thing, while that kind of tutorial is easy, and it gives you a jar or a bottle that looks better than the way you were doing it before, it doesn't look very realistic, does it? Most tutorials, they give you the one method, but that's my point. There isn't one method. Coloring realistic glass is not hard. I told you I've been studying it for decades, but that's not because I'm stupid or because glass is difficult. People study glass for a lifetime because every piece of glass is different. I'm coloring champagne flutes here, but if I were to fill these very same glasses with Coca-Cola or with chicken gravy, I'd have to totally change how I color the glass. Not just the markers, but the whole entire approach. Glass is transparent, right? Well, that means that the glass takes on the characteristics of what's inside of it. Glass holding transparent liquid looks completely different than if I were to fill these glasses with rocks or M&M candies. Glass also takes on the characteristics of the background. So if I were to pop a pink background behind these very same champagne flutes, suddenly I'm back to square one trying out new marker combinations and new coloring techniques. Lighting is a big deal too. Glass does three things with light. Some of the light is gonna pass right through the glass. You'll never even notice it. Some of the glass gets bounced right back at you in the form of a white highlight. And some of the light gets refracted or broken apart into spectrum colors. So when you think you've mastered glass, you shift the light to a new position and suddenly it's a whole different project. That's why this is not a tutorial video. There isn't one glass coloring method. I can't summarize how to color glass with realism in 10 minutes. The best I can do is encourage you to move beyond the light blue marker tutorials. 
start looking at glass. Observe it in real life. Look at photo references. As soon as you start using your eyes to really see glass, you're gonna find that there's no blue to transparent glass. And start taking some classes. I don't care if it's an online course or something in person through community ed or your local high school, or even a really good instructional book. But you need a teacher to help guide you beyond tracing stamp lines with blue markers. If you really want to color real glass, you have to ditch the blue tutorials. They're fun, but they're also locking you into a very limited way of thinking. Now, I'll admit, this kind of coloring is not for everyone. There is nothing wrong with coloring simple yet beautiful stamped images for cards and fun art projects. If that's what makes you happy, keep doing it. But if you've ever wanted more to improve your coloring beyond the usual blue marker tutorials, then give yourself permission to move past the easy step-by-step -step tutorials. Art classes sound intimidating, as if you have to be really good before you can join the community education class or before you can sign up for the online workshop. That's silly. People in art classes aren't there because they're super talented people with amazing skills. People take art classes because they want to become super talented people with amazing skills. Everyone is there to learn. That means lots of people at lots of different skill levels all on the same journey. So don't be shy. Join a class. You will fit right in. I guarantee it. Realism, it's a learning process, not a tutorial. So now that you've watched me color this student level version of my Cheers digital stamp, you've seen that coloring glass with some degree of realism is more than just you, a stamp, and a blue marker. I've used gray, white, goldenrod, and a beautiful pale violet to color this glass. Nothing that I've done here today is hard. You can learn to do it too. To learn more about my glass coloring process and to learn how to start applying this process to all kinds of glass, from snow globes to beer steins to canning jars, check out my Cheers online workshop at MarkerPainting.com. I've got a wide selection of useful classes there. Each are designed to move you beyond tutorial demonstrations and get you to the place where you can apply the lessons to your independent coloring projects. Workshops are forever access. I also do monthly live streams if you're a fan of floral images. Both are great ways to start your journey.